everybody, this is Praxis and I'm on site today working in the upstairs bathroom. And what I'm doing is just getting some more things ready for the plumber. Now, if the plumber showed up tomorrow, that'd be totally fine, we're ready for him. But there's some things that I wanted to do to kind of make, uh, reduce the chances of there being errors and things like that. For example, over on the floor here, you can see no drains is written and arrows everywhere because I don't want any drains going through the floor there. I want the drain from the washing machine that'll be here to go through this wall join up with the sink over here and then kind of come down under here, join with the uh, shower here. And at that point it goes over to connect to underneath the toilet and then goes out to the septic tank. After we get the inspection, we, the plan is that there, we're going to have a switch here so that if we want to, and we do want to, uh, we're going to be able to divert the uh, gray water from the washing machine, the sink, and the shower back, do a 180 over here and go into a gray water storage tank. Uh, from there, we'll be able to use that for flushing toilets downstairs, uh, and the overflow will go out into the greenhouse to water plants. The reason we're doing that after inspection is it's still a little bit sketchy in my area doing gray water. It's sort of, uh, people aren't used to it, and when people aren't used to something, they usually think it's bad. You know, different means bad. And, uh, you know, we're just going to add it after the fact. Uh, you know, there's nothing really wrong with gray water. It's a great way of recycling water. In fact, it has extra nutrients for plants and things like that. People worry about, well, what about the soaps that go into it? Well, I used gray water at my last place and the plants that were growing where the gray water came out were doing great. Plants love it. I, I, I always use, you know, um, you know, non, I use the kind of soaps that I would want on my body too. I, I wasn't using the terrifying, you know, petrochemical soaps and things. So I was kind of using the kind of soaps that you would want on your own body anyway. And the plants also love those. In terms of if you use something horrifying that, you know, probably isn't even good for you, will the plants like those? I don't know, because I don't really use those on myself. But if you're using, you know, you know, nice natural soaps and things like that, the plants love them. Uh, uh, you know, it just works out great for everyone. So that's the reason we're doing it that way. And again, nothing really wrong with gray water. It's just like, well, it's like with the coronavirus situation that we're going through right now. People used to say that uh, respirator masks were not reusable, and then there was a shortage, and then suddenly people realized, wow, these actually can be cleaned and reused uh, several times, and it's not really a problem. Uh, you know, whenever there is a need for something, people usually figure out a way to make it happen and oftentimes realize, wow, we kind of should have been doing this all along anyway. So same with gray water. Someday, if there is a shortage of fresh, clean water, I'm sure people will get into gray water and then they'll realize the same thing. Wow, we should have been doing this a long time ago. At the moment, though, it's kind of frowned on. That's what we're doing after inspection. But anyway, what I'm doing today is just trying to make sure that there are no mistakes with the plumber putting notes everywhere, no drains, put your drain here, I've got a note here, cut your vent hole here, cut your vent hole here, even on here, three quarter inch screws only when they're attaching in the shower unit, so they're not uh, going into my uh, metal conduit and everything. So just trying to head off any possible mistakes ahead of time, there'll probably still be some, but the more of this kind of stuff I can do, the fewer mistakes, hopefully, there are going to be later. That's it. Thanks for watching.